Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to kit up Wayne, Boo and Digger. Okay, this is my crystal art kit that I did the unboxing on. Um, it's all on a wooden frame, so I don't need to worry about framing this one up. I can just hang it straight on the wall when it's done. Um, I did do a little sort of poll on Instagram and Facebook to say, did people want me to do Winnie the Pooh or Lady and the Tramp first? And Lady and the Tramp won by one vote, just one vote. But I love them both, so I'm going to do them both anyway. I'll just pop my drills out of the way there. There's my canvas. Oh, look. Poo and Digger. Do like those. Okay. Um, what I've done, I've cut the legend, your key code, off the back where it was. And then I've photocopied that. So I've put it onto my scanner and just printed out um, an extra one there. As you can see, exactly the same. And what I'm going to do is use this one because I do like to keep these. And I'm going to use my crystal art 30 storage container for this one okay oh, look at that oh got a bit of wax there's my little kit all ready for diamond painting in there with my pen and there's my little boats and everything okay just pop those to one side we've got our stickers if we need to create some extra labels if we've got more than uh, one bottle full of drills so I'll put my legend into my uh, little container there so I can keep that as I say I do like to keep those and I've written a poo at the top of it <laughs> so I know which one it is okay so let me uh, prepare the canvas first and um, if you've seen any of my previous videos you will see I do like to use the little cover sheets the diamond painting cover sheets let me get some of the newer ones I'm not keen on the uh, plastic sheets they tend to make a bit too much noise for me so I'm going to completely take that off okay away, make sure it doesn't stick onto my canvas again stick back onto my canvas and then these are just like similar sort of waxy paper and uh, you can buy them several different places and I'm just going to cover the whole canvas with these I do like to just overlap them a little bit and see again they just don't quite get so many across and with it being square it won't matter which way around I went on these so just oh look and it's going to be oh Oh, possibly. No, it's not, is it? So what I'm going to do is do it at the top there. Overlap them a little bit more. Because then what I do is just peel off one and just work on one area. Now, I can either work on a really small area like that and just do, put drills on that bit. Or I can think I'm going to do a big chunk today and work on the whole of that I think you can see they're just not quite big enough you can buy bigger sheets and um, these are the size i tend to like because I, this is what size i like to work on oh, liz what are you doing get that stuck down for goodness sake <laughs> okay and then i'm just going to lift these up and put another one under here make sure you've got your whole canvas covered unless you can keep your canvas in somewhere that's um well, really nice and clean or fresh that you're not going to get dust and hair and anything because I've got Millie and obviously you know she doesn't shed much hair but she does shed and I tend to find a lot of my paintings end up with maybe hair stuck in them somewhere Millie's our little Scotty dog okay so that's my canvas prepared and um, what I will do then I'll probably start in this corner and work upwards from there but let's get those drills put into containers. Okay, just put that canvas out the way over there. Right, so what I'm going to do, as I say, I've copied the uh, key code, the legend, which has got the uh, packet number on it. Uh, it's got the letter, which is on the canvas that I'm going to be using. And then it's got the DMC code as well, which I do like to store them away in the DMC number. So pop that through the middle of the sticker maker and this little Zyron sticker maker just makes stickers just puts sticky on the reverse 
of your uh, paper and then it will then just stick onto your little bottles. Okay. And, oh look, I've done that one, didn't need to do that one. Okay, and then just cut through so that you're leaving it still on the carrier sheet. And then you can just peel them off one at a time. Okay. It's a handy little thing, this. I do like using it. I have used it for stickers and things in the past and uh, embellishments. I think the first thing I used it for when I had one um, was for leaves, skeleton leaves. I could never find a safe way to stick them down. I, I come from a card making background. I've made lots and lots of thousands of cards in my time. Um, and I found that using this, putting skeleton leaves through this little Zyron sticker maker, just made them sticky on the other side without them all disintegrating and without me getting covered in glue as well. Okay, so we'll get these pots numbered up. Just put them out of the way, otherwise I'm going to be knocking them everywhere. So, start at this corner. Oops. Okay. Hey. Oops. Let's see if I can do it this way so you can see what I'm doing a bit more of. I'm sure you all know to peel off stickers and put them on pots. <laughs> I'll have to learn how to fast forward it and then you will have to sit and watch me put all the stickers on. Okay, I don't mind if they hang over the edges a little bit either. You can cut them down, but they're stuck on enough for the length of the time that you're going to be doing your canvas. Okay, okay, 14. Okay, this one's 22 colours and it's a 30 bottle uh, con um, storage container, so... Yeah, they're really smart, these little containers. Just keep everything together and professional looking. And they hold a lot. I think did we decide they hold about between 14 and 1600 drills, these pots. So they're a good size. Okay, if you saw my unbagging um, or unboxing of these, I do actually put some drills into it and we count how many they uh, use. Right, so we start at A. Let's start at this side so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I want a lot of trays. Grab those. I want my orange tray as well. Okay. And we'll get started. So, and A. I just find it's easier to work from the little bottles. Some people work from these packets and sellotape them up, but I'm quite good at um, missing drills. And oh, look, I managed to spill these already, and I've only just started. I'm such a spiller. Good job I've put the trays underneath, catch most of them. Okay. Yeah, as I say, some people do like to work from the bags and just put paper clips off. It's just um, put sellotape or whatever on them. I'm too clumsy to do things like that. I can't work like that. I have to work from my little bottles and make sure that they're all fully contained because with having uh, Millie in the house as well, it wouldn't be unknown for her to uh, knock things over. Um, I do diamond paint while I'm sat on my settee. Um, and uh, she does sort of sit next to me and when she's had enough she will give me a nudge and things have been known to go flying oh i've got a little one there look let's just get rid of that one so and then we've got to see okay open the bottle first liz before you open the packet it only ends in tears <laughs> So how's everybody today? Hope you're all well. You're all doing okay. Uh, hubby is unfortunately still in hospital at the moment. But uh, he's stable and we're doing okay. So fingers crossed it won't be for much longer. And then we can have him home. Okay, 
we're waiting for a new uh, car to come. Uh, one that we can get all the equipment in that we need when we go out. So it's got a little bit bigger boot. I've got to get used to driving a bigger car, which will be fun. Rather than being in a little car that I'm used to, we'll be in a bit bigger car. So. It's all, oh, <laughs> just trying to stab myself with the berries. It's all fun and games, learning new skills. I have driven bigger cars um, when I worked as like a, a gopher in uh, one of my previous jobs. I used to have to go out and get sandwiches. And we all used to want to drive the biggest car and look really swishing our sunglasses going out for sandwiches for the boss in his posh car. <laughs> oh, I've made a mess of those. The things you do when you're younger. Get a bit older, it's practicality, it's not the way things look. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, pop those in there, put my rubbish in the bin. Where are we up to then, G? Okay, uh, we had a, an Amazon delivery the other day and uh, unfortunately I've just taken a drink of tea, a mouthful of tea and it went down the wrong way as I jumped up to go and open the door. And I opened the door and coughed at the poor delivery man. He shot about a six foot back and uh, put the package down on the path about, well, half a mile nearly away. I know I'm exaggerating, but a long way from the door and said parcel <laughs> and legged it. So, uh, yeah, frightened the poor dr driver to death. It's usually Millie that frightens the delivery drivers, but it was me. So it was just unfortunate. Uh, yeah. That's the next letter. My drink had just gone down the wrong way. It made me jump out my skin. It was really, really quiet. And then he just banged on the door. Oh dear. I think Millie must have been out in the garden somewhere because she'd not really heard him. She came in afterwards to see what was going on. But she didn't bark at him. Oh dear. It's always fun and games here. Where are we on to next? Okay. Not too many colours in this one. So it won't take too long to do. Just looking, there might be one that needs more than one little bottle. Just looking at that blue that's lurking in the background there. I think that one's, yeah, I think we're going to need more than one little bottle for that one. But that's okay. We've got quite a few spare. And I must admit I'm a Winnie the Pooh fan. I have actually been to um, a hundred acre wood. And we've stood on the bridge that uh, Christopher Robin or whichever played pool sticks on. And oh, we played pool sticks on that bridge. It's a lovely day out. It's... Uh, down the south. We've got a family that live down there, so we went to visit and we went out for the day. So we went to 100 acre wood, and there's a little shop there that sells everything. We need a pool. And uh, we sat and had a cream tea, but unfortunately, it was one of those days where there were hundreds of wasps around. And we just got surrounded by wasps. And it was, well, nobody got stung, fortunately, but it, it just took a little bit of the pleasure out of a nice warm day. Picking up your uh, cream scone with jam and trying not to eat the wasp that had landed on it just about as you were about to put it into your mouth. So it was a bit of a strange day, but I can highly recommend it. It's a great little place. Okay, which is your dis favourite Disney character? Which ones do you like? I know there's a lot of the modern ones. 
uh, Millie's favourite Disney character is, uh, well, characters, our Toy Story 2. We found that if we want to get anything done, then if we put Toy Story 2 on the television, she will sit there and she will watch the whole thing from start to finish. She absolutely loves it. Um, I'll try and put a photograph down below of Millie sat on the bottom watching Toy Story 2. photograph was actually taken um, at my parents' house. Uh, yep, even my parents <laughs> have recorded Toy Story 2 for the dog to watch when she goes to their house. <laughs> That's dedication for you. Oh dear, we do love our fair babies, I must admit, but yeah. And she sits and watches it. So we get a chance to talk. Because otherwise she, she absolutely loves my dad. She never leaves him alone and just wants to play with him all the time and thinks he's there just to play with her. So if you want him to talk or do anything, then yep, just put Toy Story 2 on. She's not so keen on one. She's not bothered about three. And she put put four on the new one. She sort of watched it, but no, Toy Story 2. Don't know what it is. Don't know whether it's the voices or the... Well, I don't know, but anyway, she will sit and watch Toy Story 2. Maybe I can see if I can mesmerise her if we get to any Toy Story um, diamond paintings from Craft Buddy. Maybe we can just sit her in front of a picture. <laughs> okay, so we've got quite a few of those in there. There's quite a bit of space, so let's see how many of us, but we're definitely going to need another bottle. These. This is S. Okay, I'm not going to overly fill it. So let's have a look. Where's my labels that came with it? With my storage there. And this is S. And it is 3325 DMC number. Okay, so I'll just get one of the spare bottles. And We'll put those into there, put that one away. Oh, and that's handy because it will just actually be right next to it. So what I'll probably do is use the spares first and empty the spares first and then use the ones in the properly labelled bottle, which will make things a bit easier. Okay, and the next one is D. Great these little bottles, so all completely reusable once I've, uh, I'll do a de-kitting when I finish these pictures and you can see that you can then just reuse the bottles, the labels will just come off and you can just keep going. Um, I do find that this is my favourite, I do like the smaller ones if I'm just doing a smaller painting, the little 28 containers, but these just do hold that little bit more. Okay. See whether all these will go in here or not. Just yay, yeah, that's good. Okay, oops, just get that extra little one that's just decided to escape. What I find with these as well is I haven't got any gel in that. I've got gel in that pen. No, I haven't got any gels in these pens. Um, is you can just dip into your container and just get one drill out if you've missed out one of the numbers or if you come across a section you're doing and there's only one or two drills rather than tipping them out into my tray um, I do then just dip my pen into my little pot it's not quite so easy doing that into a bag I don't find um, but obviously you know you, you kit up and you work whichever is the easiest way for you I think you watch other people and get ideas from other people and then just adapt as to how you like doing it and get into your own little routine and system. Okay, now this is a very, very full bag. So I'm not sure whether these will all go in, but we'll have a look and see. They're escaping already. Look, get in there. Okay. Let's just tip these slowly. Ooh, will they go in? Will they go in? Will they go in? Oh, oh, just, that's a little bit full, really. But anyway, they've gone in. So that's just there. Okay, just pop that one in there. Oops, stuck to me. 
Uh, that last one. Okay, and we're all kitted up, ready to go. Make sure my lid's on straight. Right, put my labels back in there for use next time. Put our trays in there. And we'll put a little green tray in there as well. And our wax. And oh, put two things of wax there, put that in. And our pens, and we're all ready to go. Zip that up. And there's our canvas. And there you are. That's the canvas all ready, the drills all ready. So all I need to do now is sit down and get started and do Winnie the Pooh. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please press that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos and see what I get up to next, then please press subscribe and you'll be notified when the next one comes out. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.